All right, let's take a look at our problem here. We're going to rotate this region and create a volume. And your teacher was kind. All we need to do is set up the integral. We don't have to get the final number. All right, let's take a look at the illustration here. All right, so we've got sine x. This is the curve. We're going to rotate it around this line. Y equals negative 3. Okay, so something like this, right? That's rotating around that axis. Y equals minus 3. All right. Now, we can think of this as a bunch of rings, right? So each ring, let's look at one ring here. Okay, and we have an outer radius there, which is three plus the sine of x, so it's this little region here. And we have an inner radius of three, right? Just from here to here. So we have a bunch of rings. They have a, a small width of dx, okay? Uh, all right, so how do we, let's look at the, the volume of one ring. So the volume of one ring is, the, is pi times the outer radius squared minus pi times the inner radius squared, uh, each multiplied by dx. Remember, that's the, that's the tiny, tiny width. And what we want to do to get the total volume is sum up all of these rings. OK, and that's what we use integration for. So the volume of the total Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm substituting in here. That's the outer ring squared, and 3 is the inner ring squared. Okay, now we go to the total, and that's just the integral. You can move the pi outside. And now just some algebra. We're going to expand the bracket there at the 3 plus sine x. And then you should see that the nines are going to cancel, and that's it. I think that's what you missed there was the minus nine. All right, there's the final integral. We don't have to evaluate it, and that means we're done. Okay, so you look at each ring. And you get the outer radius and the inner radius. Okay, and there we go. I hope that was helpful.